Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a drop down list as the one you see here. The first option, you can show the text. The next one, you can hide the text. You can always add many more possibilities in your drop down list. Remember, all the scripts and prefabs I'm using in my uh, tutorials here can be found on my Patreon site. The link will be in the description. Yeah, let's get to it. So let's first create the drop down. Let's right click UI drop down TextMess Pro. Here you'll have your, your drop down on the left side here. If you fold this out, you can see here you have the label. Let me go to the scene view. The label is the text that will be written here. And this is only for the placeholder. So you can not just write test or something to see how it will look. You have the arrow. The arrow can be changed if you have another sprite, another color. <clears throat> here you have a template. That is the drop down. So if you turn this on, you can see how that will look. You have the viewport to the left. You can change the sprite, the color as well. We have the content in here. Here is the item. And in the item, you have the background check mark, item label. Again, all this can be changed to fit your needs. You have to scroll, scroll bar to the right. Again, you can change it to, to your sprites and <clears throat> colors that fits your game. So let me turn this off again. <clears throat> and already now, if you see here to the right, if you uh, click on your drop down, you can see you have option A, B and C. And if you hit play, you can see the drop down is already working. You have all these options. So what you write over here will be written as options here. In, the, in my example here, I will only have two options. And this will be the show text. Show text. Oops. Ah, come on. Show text and hide text. <clears throat> so to control this, we'll need to create a script. So create a new script, call this drop down, open it up. Again, in my example, I will show and hide text. So for me, I will need using TM Pro. And then I will have my public text mess pro. And this will be the text that I will show and hide. You can remove the start and update function. And then we will make a new public void called drop down. And we will need an integer called index. Let me just like this. And in here we will switch between the index number. And then we will use cases. So if it's case zero, then our text dot game object dot set active will be true because here in the first case we will show the text and now we will remember to break it and now when you break it it means that you will end it so this is the start and this is oh, sorry this is the start and this is the end I have a red line here because it can't be the same name as the script so I will just make an underscore here in the beginning let's duplicate this case. And now it's case one. And here we will set it to false. And you can simply just keep going down zero, one, two, three, four, you name it. So let's save. <clears throat> and in this, you, you need to start from zero. The zero is the first line in there. So save and get go back. And what I mean here that this is zero and then you have one two, three, and so on. So now let's attach the script to our drop down. I have my text. I haven't created that yet. So let's make a UI text here. And I will just say show text, go to the drop down, put the text on here. This on value change here. Let's hit the plus, drag the script up here functions drop down and remember to take the function you have in the top and not the one down here. So let's take one in the top. Let's hit play. And let's see what happens. So now we show the text. And now we hide the text. Yeah, 
that was what I had to show in this tutorial. I really hope it helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.